Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my November favorites. Um, I just want to say a couple of things before I get into the things I've been loving this month. One is all three of the beasts are in this room today. All three dogs are here right now. So if you hear like some ruckus, it's them. It's Sunday football, so Danny's in the living room. <laughs> they are crazy. Danny's in the living room watching football, so they're in here with me because he's like this and they could be killing each other and he wouldn't notice. Another thing is, I feel like crap. Like, I really, really feel like crap. There wasn't a video up on Friday and that's just because Ann and I were super busy with like Thanksgiving-y things, so I got all caught up and didn't realize I didn't have a video for Friday, so I'm really sorry about that. I'm gonna tell you a quick little story. I am obsessed with Hot Cheetos. It's like my favorite bag of chips besides sour cream and cheddar. It's like I can eat hot Cheetos every day of my life. And I kind of have been for a while. I have been like binging on hot Cheetos for like two weeks, like really scary stuff. And then at two in the morning last night, I felt like a huge burn in the pit of my stomach. And uh, TMI coming your way, I threw up nothing but hot red fire. So I did throw up last night and it was just pure Hot Cheetos. <laughs> That's really disgusting, but I cannot look at a bag of Hot Cheetos anymore. I had some in my cabinet and almost barfed again. I just wanted to tell you guys that because if I seem a little bit like uh, in this video, it's because I don't feel good and I wasn't gonna film because I hate to film when I feel bad, but I need a video to go up tomorrow because I can't miss a video on Friday and Monday, you guys would kill me. But since I feel like crap, my hair is just I had to put on a beanie or like a little scully thing, which by the way, that's another favorite this month. I've been loving beanies. I used to hate how they looked on me, but I kind of like them now. So I had to throw on a beanie because there's a rat's nest in the back of my head that you guys don't want to see. Okay, so now that I'm done with a five minute intro, let's get on to the things I've been loving. The first thing I really have to mention is this because I've been using it every single day since I got it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel. I have mine in the shade Brunette. And I freaking love this product. I love it so much more than I thought I would because when I got it, it's like glittery. Not glittery, but there's like a definite sheen to it. And I was like, what? But I have been really, really loving this, especially on days where I don't want to put on a ton of makeup. I'll just throw on a little bit of mascara, under eye concealer, and then pop this on my brows and I'm done. And sometimes when I don't want to wear makeup at all, I'll just throw this on my brows and I feel like it's okay to walk out of the house because I know it's really strange, but I feel like, this is gonna sound so weird, but I feel like when I don't fill in my eyebrows, my forehead looks even bigger than it already is. I know that seems kind of strange, but I always have to have something on my brows and thank Jesus above for this little product because it kind of fills in the sparse areas since it is tinted, but then it sets your eyebrows in place all day. I do like it on top of like an eyebrow product like this, but I prefer it like completely by itself. It's like a lifesaver. I have discovered probably like a holy grail item, seriously, this month, and it is from the drugstore. This is the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Matte Palette. This is hands down the best, it's really dirty. Oui. This is the best matte palette I own, except for my It Cosmetics matte palette that I love, the original. But this is such a great palette and you get 12 eyeshadows for $20. $20 seems a little bit steep for drugstore, but it is Sonia Kashuk, it's really, really good quality. These are the best, most creamiest, most pigmented, amazing matte eyeshadows in the entire world. Like I can't, I can't, I cannot stress it enough. I was actually blown away. Like I was putting it on my face for the first time and I was like, <gasps> Like it almost feels like a cream when you put your finger in there. It's amazing. And it has the best colors. It has a black, kind of like a gray, a purple, all different tones of brown, warm browns, cool tone browns, and then it has really light brow bone shades. It's definitely a staple for any makeup lover in my opinion. I highly recommend it. I got mine at Target. That's where they sell Sonia Kashuk. But oh my god, it's the greatest $20 I've ever spent in makeup. Seriously. My next favorite is What's On My Lips, and I have been using this a lot this month, and I love it. It is the Girl Lactic 
Beauty Matte Lip Paint. The brand is Girlactic. It's their matte lip paint in the shade Demure. She has like four or five, I think, lip paints. And this is the only one I own. It was, it is the one that I think is the prettiest out of all of them, but I'm sure they're all really gorgeous. I love the formula as well. I love lip paints like this where you kiss and like nothing comes off. Not kiss, but like talk, eat. It doesn't come off. It's one of those things when you put it on, it's like a liquid first, but then it goes completely matte, like super matte. It lasts forever on my lips and I love like matte deep lipsticks. I don't know. I love it. Highly recommend it. This is a high-end brand, but you can, besides girlactic.com, you could also find these at like really fancy Rite Aids. Okay, now I'm going to talk about more eyeshadows. This month I've really been loving to play around with different eyeshadows. I haven't been filming so many tutorials and I don't know why. I'm definitely going to be filming more tutorials. I've been like uninspired. I've been like in a rut lately with like tutorials and stuff, but I have been playing like off camera with a lot of different eyeshadows. So yeah, I have never tried these L'Oreal infallible eyeshadows before because I thought they were kind of expensive for drugstore prices. They're like $8 for one eyeshadow, which I think is a little bit pricey, but these are like pressed pigments. These are like literally like pots of pigments, like pressed pigments. They're amazing. They're really, really good. I only have two, and I really, really have been loving bronzed taupe. I have Amber Rush as well, which is crazy gorgeous, but I have been using bronze taupe the most, and I don't hear a lot of people talk about this color, but it is so pretty. It has a little stopper that you want to keep in your eyeshadow, but this is what it looks like. It's a bronze color, but it's a taupe bronze. The name is perfect. It's a cool tone bronze, which is really nice. This is actually like the exact same color as the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze in like powder version. That's a cream. This is a powder. When you layer those two with each other, this will last forever. Like it won't come off your eyes. These infallible eyeshadows are so pigmented and last like months. It's crazy. You can even use this without a primer. That's how pigmented and like intense it is. It's really, really top quality. Another product that I've really been loving that's affordable. These are the ColourPop um, Super Shock Shadows and I have been really, really liking these two. This one is called On The Rocks. I've been loving this one for a while now, a little bit more than no just November. It's such a pretty like brown copper color with little specks of gold all throughout it. This looks so pretty all over the lid with just like a brown in the crease and mascara. I don't know, I really, really love this. I think it's so fun. It's really nice for this time of year because of the glitter in it. I think it's very festive. And then this one um, is new to their like holiday collection. This one is called Partridge. And it is literally Max Club eyeshadow. Have you ever seen Max Club? It's like brown, but in the light it looks green. This one reminds me so much of it because it has that duochrome ness to it. This next product is a blush that I think everyone should own. This is NARS Madly, and NARS is a very expensive brand, but I think I have one other blush besides this, but this is quickly one of my top five favorite blushes of all time, like including every brand. Madly seriously became holy grail status after I purchased it. This is the blush I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. Um, I didn't go too crazy with it because I didn't want to go too crazy with my makeup today, but it is the most beautiful color I have ever seen on a blush. It's the kind of blush that looks good on your face for every single day, but it also is like romantic and feminine. This is the blush I wore on my anniversary. We went out to dinner and I wore it on my anniversary and it just gave such a nice romantic look. It's beautiful. It's, it's described as a seashell pink on the Sephora website. And I mean, I guess when you swatch it, you're like, um, Okay, but when you put it on your cheeks, it's like a whole nother level. I highly recommend you check out Madly if you haven't. Okay, more eyeshadow, but I promise it's the last eyeshadow product I will be talking about. These are e.l.f. Prism eyeshadow palettes. I spoke about this briefly in my e.l.f. haul, and I talked about how much I love them, but I have been using the naked one non-stop. Like these two... Perfect combination, I don't need any other eyeshadows. They're amazing because this doesn't have any matte shades. They're just straight up metallic, amazing, gorgeous goodness. Everything is has a beautiful sheen. They're very intense, but they are so beautiful. And you would never think that quality like this would come from e.l.f. I love um, their baked eyeshadows and they have certain eyeshadows that are really good, but these are like out of this world, so good. Um, I also have in the shade 
Sunset, which is also really beautiful. I actually did a look using this purple one the other day, but the video was just a little bit dark, like the sun was like gone. I mean, it was just a little bit dark towards the end, so I didn't know if I should post it or not. If you guys still want me to post it, even though the lighting is a little bit off, let me know. It's a full face drugstore tutorial. And I actually used these two palettes. Let me know if you still want me to post that and you would deal with the, like, you know, the lighting being off. But I highly recommend these. I believe these are $10 each, which is a little bit expensive for e.l.f., but I so worth it I would pay $20 each because the quality is that good. My next favorite is a primer. This is the LA Girls Pro Primer HD High Definition Eyeshadow Primer. This is what it looks like. It's just basically like a pen and it's like a cream color pen thing. Very, very similar to the Milani Shadow Eyes that I constantly use. Porter, Porter, please, please don't eat that. But they're a little bit different. This one is a little bit creamier. This one I feel like can dry out my eyelids just a tiny bit because I have super dry eyelids. So this one is a little bit creamier. It works a little bit better with my skin type. And it is a warmer color. This one reminds me of Max Painterly Paint Pot. And this one reminds me of Max Soft Ochre. But I really like it because it keeps my eyeshadows in place all day. These dogs. <laughs> Okay, so last beauty favorite before I go on to the random favorites. I never do random favorites, but I want to mention a couple things. I'm, I love this. This is the Tarte Gifted Mascara. I got this like as, for a 500 point perk thing. It came with a bunch of other Tarte stuff. But this mascara is really good. When I first tried it, I was like, eh, no. But once I let it dry a little bit, I love it. It reminds me a lot of my Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara. If you've been watching my videos since the beginning, you know that this is my Holy Grail Mascara. Love it to death. I've purchased many, many, many tubes of this. My favorite, hands down. And it reminds me a lot of this. It gives really good volume and really good length at the same time without clumpiness. So good. I use, I do about two to three layers with this just because I like that extra va va boom. I have a mixture of these two on my eyelashes right now. Good stuff. Okay, so I want to mention these really quick. I never mention fashion things, but I really want to mention these. These are burgundy peep toe booties from Windsor. Maybe I should just show you one. This is from the online store called Windsor. I had never shopped at that store before, but actually I saw Kendra Atkins. I don't know if you guys watch her channel, um, Vlogs with Kendra. She posted like a Friday favorites type of video and talked about these, and I bought it that same day. Like I X'd out of her video and then I purchased them because she was holding them and I needed them so badly. They're so pretty. They're actually really, really inexpensive. They're like $28 or $29. And they're really good quality. I've only worn them once, so it's not a monthly favorite, but I did want to mention it. Just in case you guys liked it, because I did still see it on the website today, I will link it down below these exact shoes to see if maybe you would like them. That's the only reason why I wanted to mention them, because I know I will get a ton of use out of them. I've only worn them once, but they're, they run true to size, and they're just really, really pretty. I am loving this color recently can you tell okay so my next favorite I keep in here because I haven't bought frames for it yet but these are two pictures from um, the website glam print I will link the website down below so you can get these if you want these because I have been wanting something like this for so long uh, for my beauty room let me open this I have to buy frames for them I want like really pretty white frames and I haven't bought them yet but this is what they look like. I got this one, which is so beautiful. This is a bunch of makeup brushes and I think it would look so pretty on my wall. And then I have this one. This is uh, the perfume Coco Chanel, which I don't own, but I thought the bottle looked really pretty. And I thought that these would look so nice on the wall. They have a bunch of different uh, pictures and you could also customize, like you could order to customize your own picture. Like they have, they have the templates on the website. I will link the website down below because I've been trying to find things that look just like this on Etsy and I can never find ones like gold or silver which is kind of like my theme like gold and silver so yeah I just wanted to mention these okay guys and my last favorite is super random ah! but I want to mention it. it comes in this it came in this box right here let me show you I'm so excited I just really wanted to show you guys this is the YouTube silver play button that you get when when you hit a hundred thousand subscribers and I just recently got it I know a lot of people complain that they get theirs late I, I got mine 
pretty late. I think it's so cool that YouTube kind of honors people who hit 100k and then you get like a really big plaque with a gold play button once you hit a million subscribers, which is crazy. I don't know if I will ever hit a million, but I just feel so accomplished. And even if I do hit a million, which is a stretch, honestly, but even if I do, I think I would appreciate this one so much more because like, I worked really hard to get to 100,000 subscribers, so I don't know. I thought it was just so beautiful. I'm gonna hang it up on the wall. Just wanted to share this with you guys and tell you guys thank you because you guys are the, these are you. 100,000 subscribers, these are all you guys. So thank you so much for subscribing and for making this possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I just wanted to say that. Okay guys, so that completes this video. These were the things that I've really been loving in the month of November. Leave me a comment down below on something you've really been loving this month and maybe I'll check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. At really like extravagant, re right? But I really like it because, be kept safe. But I really like it because it keeps. <laughs> uh, Poughkeepsie. I've been like in a rut lady. Lady. But I have. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting like hot. This is a high end brand. Okay, why is there no sun? There's no sun. Okay, guys, am I. Don't eat that! Don't eat that! They were, they were fighting and I couldn't hear. They were fighting? Yeah. Like play fighting? Yeah, like play fighting. Okay guys, so that completes this video. These are everything. These are everything. Okay guys, so that completes this video. These were every... I don't know what I'm saying.